So what's going on dudes? Um, I just got done running a fishing charter a few minutes ago. So, uh, man, I've been slammed, sl absolutely slammed. It's spring break here in Pensacola. So um, we have a ton of tourists in town. So everybody's booking fishing charters every single day. So I'm on the water every day. Um, but uh, fishing's been good, man. We've been catching a bunch of sheep's head, redfish, mangrove snapper. Uh, it's just now transitioning into spring mode from winter mode. So our water's warming up, starting to see some cobias and some Spanish mackerel. It's only going to get better. It's only going to get better. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, but man, my client mentioned something to me today that was interesting. He was like, Brant, so what's the best fish you've ever eaten? Or what's the best fish dish you've ever eaten? And I got to thinking, because I've made a lot of fish cooking videos. And I was like, you know, uh, I'm going to make a video with my top three best catching cooks. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to go over my top three best catching cooks. And these are the top three videos where I have enjoyed the overall experience of the catch and cook and the, uh, and the, the, the meal itself. Um, so these are my top three. And uh, it may be surprising to you, maybe not. But uh, let's start with number three. Um, number three was actually made fairly recently. It was me and Lance, my buddy Lance. He's in a bunch of my videos. We actually jumped on the boat to, uh, together. Lance skipped school one or school. Lance skipped work one day, and um, and he uh, he jumped on the boat with me, and we went out. It was a beautiful day. We drank some beers. It was a great experience. Um, we went out to a reef, probably five miles off the beach, um, and we started catching these vermilion snappers. So here's some of the footage right here. Our second keeper fish there, it's a uh, vermilion snapper. Pretty little vermilion, throw him in the cooler. That's gonna, that's gonna go to our fish tacos tonight. All right, I gotta get me one now. I'm, I'm getting a bite. Ah, he came off. Still getting a bite. I got him. All right. Yeah, this is another meat. This this may be a keeper here. Yes, it is. Look at there. Yeah, that's a nice one. All right, guys. We're getting some. Uh, we're gonna eat some fish tacos tonight. All right, guys, the the, uh, the vermilion snapper are biting really good right now. We're hanging one just about every single drop. So it was a really, really hot vermilion snapper bite, bite for a little while. And we were not serious fishing that day. We were out there kind of goofing off. But it was a really good bite. So we kept catching them. We filled the cooler up with these vermilion snapper, which are really, really good to eat. Um, I mean, I love, I like them just as good or better than red snapper. And, uh, you know, I got home and I was like, I got to make my fish tacos. So this fish taco recipe actually got from a chef who uh, fishes with me a couple times a year and he was like, Brant, this is the best fish taco recipe ever. Uh, we all use it, uh, share it with your friends and family. It's incredible. So we, I've been eating this fish taco recipe for over a year now and it's literally my one of my favorite foods that I make at the house. Uh, so let's see, uh, here's my reaction uh, to the fish taco, uh, the, after the fish tacos are done. All right guys, time to start eating. Oh man, it's, uh, I don't have any taste testers coming in today. It's just me by myself on Valentine's Day. But it's also Singles Awareness Day for all you guys that are, don't have a date tonight. So I'm just gonna eat these fish tacos and go hang out. So now we're gonna try the fish tacos and we're just gonna compare which one's better, the shrimp taco or the fish taco. They're both gonna be good because I've had them before, but I've never had them together, so we're gonna compare the two. So I'm gonna take a bite of the fish first. So the fish is great, it's good but it doesn't compare to the shrimp taco. The shrimp is way better. Um, it's a lot firmer meat and it gives a better crunch, which I like in a fish taco. Both of them are phenomenal, but I would highly recommend if you end up doing this recipe to add some shrimp to one of them as well, because the shrimp is phenomenal. 
So you can see it's pretty obvious those are phenomenal fish tacos. I'm going to put all these recipes in the description below so you can check them out yourself. All right guys, so let's get to number two. Uh, now this interestingly enough was also with vermilion snapper. So this, this dish, uh, on this particular trip, I went out by myself and um, it, another beautiful day on the water. The fish didn't bite great, but it was all right. I still caught plenty of fish. I had some good times. Uh, here's me uh, at the same reef that Lance and I were fishing at catching vermilion snapper. All right, got another fish finally. Man, they're just not biting very good. This is another vermilion and another fish to add to the ceviche today. So that's nice. But guys, what was cool about this experience was after I caught these uh, vermilion snapper, I immediately pulled my boat up on the beach and I started making this fish ceviche. And uh, if you've ever had ceviche before, it is awesome. It's basically raw fish over lime juice with a bunch of vegetables. And the lime juice actually cooks the fish. Uh, the acids from the lime juice actually cook the fish. So it, it, it's excellent and uh but i made i just pulled up on the beach it was just a peaceful day it was awesome and i ate that ceviche there by myself I'm, I'm there was no other boats in sight no other people i just pulled up to a little island and i mean it was an awesome experience and, and this is one of one of the best tasting fish dishes in my opinion that you can make first bite fresh ceviche from the gulf of mexico right here Cheers. Great way to start 2017. So we go down to the Caribbean every year. We go to Belize and our boat captain in Belize makes the best ceviche I've ever had and I've learned from him. So I tried to cop, pretty much copy what he does over the years from learning from him. And man, this is, this is phenomenal. It's not quite as good as his, but it was pretty dang good. I'm gonna have some more. So as you can see there, I loved the fish ceviche. It was incredible. Um, now, this next experience, guys, is hands down my best catch and cook experience that I've ever put on camera and arguably the best catch and cook uh, that I've ever experienced in my entire life. This was actually, this actually happened in another country. I was in the country of Belize not too long ago. And man, I was out there fishing with the locals and check it out, these locals were out there using hand lines and I'm coming up with a rod and reel next to them fishing and I got to know them really well. They were super nice people and we were catching mutton snapper. Here's some of the live footage from, uh, from my trip to Belize. So what's the best way to cook, cook, cook those fish, man? Fried. Fried, all right. Right, it is. All right. Finally, finally got yeah. one hooked up. <laughs> Kept losing them. Good. He you swallowed your hook. Yeah. I put a real small hook on it, just buried it in the bait that time, and it worked. Grande. All right, come here. What do we got? Uh, that's a snapper. <laughs> All right. All right, good. All right, I need one more and then I'm leaving. So what was so cool about, uh, about this experience was after I catch my mutton snapper is there's this local bar that's out on the water uh, and you know, I decided to go up to that bar and see if they would cook my fish for me. And man, it was awesome because, uh, man, they were like, yeah, sure. I didn't know how they were going to prepare it or what. I didn't know what to expect. But while I'm sitting there, uh, waiting for them to bring out my fish, I've got big sharks swimming by me, tarpon. Check this out. <laughs> Get 
Big, big bull shark. So yeah, I'm sitting there looking at sharks and tarpon in a restaurant while I'm waiting on my fish to come out. Man, it was an awesome experience. Well, then they bring my fish out. They fried it whole. Uh, they gave me two sides. One was like coconut rice uh, and, and the other was french fries. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yeah, I'll take some ketchup. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Man, that looks good. Everything was to perfection. Man, the way they fried this fish was incredible. Uh, but it was the overall experience. Being in another country, fishing with the locals, uh, you know, having this local restaurant cook my meal for me while I'm sitting there staring at big fish swimming under the lights. It was one of the best experiences that I've ever got to take part in in my entire life. And that goes, that's my number one hands down catch and cook. You know, and for some reason it got the least amount of views of any of my catch and cook videos. I don't know why. Um, you know, maybe a lot of people didn't know I posted or something like that because I thought that it was, it, to me, it was the most meaningful catch and cook video that I've ever done. I've done a lot of catch and cooks and a lot of fish taste tests. This was the most, this meant the most to me out of all the videos that I've ever done. So here's my reaction at the, uh, once they bring the fish out, man, it, it's just phenomenal. Check it out. So I just, <clears throat> I just caught this fish 30 minutes ago. That is awesome. Guys, that's incredible. I also got, um, coconut rice and french fries with it for 10 bucks that's not bad at all mutton snappers awesome it tastes just like red snapper so guys that'll do it man that, those are my top three best fish dishes in my opinion i've ever put on camera and arguably the best fish dishes i've ever eaten in my entire life um and, and you know, guys, like I told you, I'm super busy right now. I am doing all I can to put up videos. I'm trying to post once a week or so. And, and once, once, once things slow down, I'm gonna get back to posting three or four times a week. Uh, right now, gotta make some money, gotta pay the bills. You know how it is. But uh, guys, if you enjoyed the video, shoot me a thumbs up. Let me know that you like it. I'll keep doing more. Y'all have a great week.